So for my current work, I get the opportunity to travel across the Canadian prairies and visit green elevators at rural locations. My main go-to travel bag is the VanQuest Envoy Messenger Bag as it carries all my necessary work and tech gear. Here's a closer look at the VanQuest Envoy 17 Messenger Bag. The material is made of 500D Cordura, which gives makes it very durable. Exterior dimensions is 11 inches high, 19 inches wide, and 7 inches deep. I'm going to swing it around and show you the back of the bag and its most useful function. It has this luggage strap with a built-in pocket. I primarily use the pocket to store my Slimfold wallet, which is the best minimalist wallet in my mind, and various business cards which I have collected during my work trips. Here I am at the airport and you can see the VanQuest Envoy strapped on top of my carry-on. I like the width of the VanQuest luggage strap which will accommodate most carry-on handles and I enjoy the convenience of rolling through the airport strapped on the carry-on versus slugging it across my shoulder, especially when I have long terminal walks. Right on the front is a hook and loop molly that allows you to put morale patches like I have to personalize it. So here I have the hawk, my name, and uh, the Canadian flag. The VanQuest logo is nicely embroidered onto the front and I appreciate that it's subtle and it doesn't scream advertisement. I like the large zipper poles which accommodate gloves especially when the peg one's cold. There are two pockets on the front. I like the bright orange pocket inside to help you identify items easier. In this pocket I have my AirPods Pro and some Kleenex. Next up is the top two handles. It's nice and thick and soft and it's cushy. You can see the detail and workmanship of the stitching for each handle. I have loaded my bag to 25 pounds with camera gear, which is expensive. I think it came up to about $5,000 worth of gear. And I have confidence that the handles will never come off. I also have a carabiner on the handle in case I need to hang my messenger bag, which I've done on fences before. On either side of the bag is a water bottle holder. On the right hand side it has a zipper that allows you to expand it if you have a bigger water bottle. It also has the Hyperlon Molly if you want to attach additional accessories. So if I switch the bag on the other side, I attach a cell phone case to the Molly, which I use to carry my work iPhone. It also has an extension loop if you want to tie your keys to it and it's just easy to find. In terms of the shoulder strap, it does have a shoulder cushion. It's not thick, but it's comfortable for a short period of time. I do wish it had more padding on it. There is a top zipper that allows you to quickly access the contents of your bag without having to flip open the cover. In terms of what I carry with me on my work trips, my gadget tech bag, which I recently did a video on with all my cables and charging accessories, my ARC custom notebook, and my iPad Air Gen 4. I'm just going to unbuckle it and flip up the front flap and show you the various organization the bag has. Immediately, you have access to a large Velcro pocket, which holds my cotton carrier camera strap, which I will do a review on later. It's a great one you can hook to your belt. It has three pen holders, another Velcro pocket, and a zipper pocket which holds my Peter McKinnon ND filter. In the front compartment, it's fairly large, which is the width of the bag, and uh, currently it just holds a multi-tool for me. Another nice feature is the padding is orange, high-vis, and again, it allows you to easily see the contents inside. Nothing is worse than looking in a black bag looking for something that's dark. I also have the opportunity to shoot pictures and videos on my trip, so I have my Moana iPhone mic, a Manfrotto Pixie tripod, A cell phone attachment and my Fuji XC3 with the 23 millimeter prime lens. The main compartment is deep at 6.5 inches and here I added additional velcro padding from another camera bag to kind of hold my Fuji XT3 in place so it doesn't keep it moving around the bag. Again near the back is another compartment, a large one that isn't soft but allows you to hold an iPad or a notebook. And in total, there is 22 organization compartments in this bag, which is very handy and very useful. Taking a look at the bottom, it's made of 1000D Cordura, which is strong and can take a lot of abrasion. 
I've had this for over a year now and I've chucked this on dirt, gravel, sidewalk, and even the back of a truck and it doesn't show any wear and tear. As you can see, I'm back from my road trip and I'm back in my home office and the one thing I realized I didn't show you about the VanQuest Envoy 17 bag was the laptop compartment, which is in the back here. Um, so this is my standard issue Dell Work 15.4 inch laptop, which I have in the back here. If it's nicely right into the compartment, and again, the compartment is orange high-vis soft felt, so it doesn't scratch the laptop. I've been using the VanQuest Envoy 17 messenger bag for over a year now, and I'm very happy with this bag. It has served me in all kinds of purposes, from going to work as my daily commute, riding on the bus, as you can see, I took it with me to Vancouver, carrying my stuff as a carry-on, as well as when I go for photo shoots or videography shoots, I fit all my camera gear, my lens, my battery, and different accessories all fits in here. And I like it because it's a sturdy bag. Um, the Cador it makes it very abrasion effective, and overall, it's really well made. And um, I couldn't ask for a better bag, and I won't be replacing this in a while. And again, it shows to the, the workmanship of this bag. So if you're looking for a bag that does it all in terms of, you know, going to work, you know, being, if you're a creative content maker like myself, carrying a lot of camera gear and accessories, I definitely would recommend this bag. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give a thumbs up, like the video and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. And the catchphrase, there's nothing wrong with it. All right guys, thanks for watching and until next time.